Hi and welcome. Today I will start a new course in WebGIS. Mainly in this course, I will try to discuss WebGIS, Web Design and Development course. I hope after completing this course, you will able to work with WebGIS as well as Web Design and Development. Okay. So you can see here, this is the course roadmap here. So first of all, I include in this course HTML. So first of all, I will make tutorial about the HTML, then move to CSS, then JavaScript, Bootstrap, Open Layers, GeoServer, PostGIS, PHP, Ajax other libraries we also discuss and finally after completing all of those things we will create the live project on webgis okay so you can see here the in this part html in this part i will try to discuss about the basic of html then tags in html mainly here i will discuss about the div tags list table input drop down and others HTML tags I will discuss in this section and I also discuss about the HTML attributes in this section so then we I will move to the CSS here I mainly discuss about the basic concept of CSS and uh, coloring bordering and other styling are also included in, in this section CSS based on selectors, adding external forms and more animation I will also discuss in this section of CSS. Okay. So then I will move to JavaScript. In this here I will discuss about the basic of JavaScript, data types of JavaScript and variables and I will discuss about the function, loops, DOM manipulation, DOM events, introduction to jQuery, jQuery selector. Okay. So then I will move to the bootstrap, here I will discuss about the basic of bootstrap, concept of grid, forms and inputs and models, I will discuss in here, I also discuss in the navbar how you can use the bootstrap for using making a navbar, I also discuss about the typography using the bootstrap, okay. So then I will move to the open layers, here I will discuss about the basic of open layers, creating the basic map, adding the marker, lines, polygons, adding JSON data to the map, map on events, adding images, over layers, pop-ups, and connecting open layers with GeoServer. I also discussed here the using the Z service from the GeoServer, interaction in map, work offline, how we can easily work in this open layers in online, offline, okay. So then I will move to the GeoServer. Here I also discuss about the basic of GeoServer, how you can easily installation the GeoServer, adding the workspace, store layers and GeoServer, different store of option I also discuss in this section, serving vector and raster data, styling GeoServer, SQL view in GeoServer, filtering data front end and layer casing, rules, of ser rules and services I also discuss in this section, okay. And then I will move to the post GIS. It I also discuss at the post of po basic of post GIS, creating the geometry in post GIS, post GIS queries from post GIS to GeoServer, from front end to post GIS. Then I also discuss the Postgres views. And finally, I will move to the PHP Ajax. Finally, I here I discuss about the PHP Ajax, the basic of PHP and basic Ajax and uh, you, you can e use this BISP Ajax how you can get, put and post and delete easily. I also discuss in this section. And after completing all this, I will move to the other libraries. This is the leaflet libraries, map box and comparing the both libraries and open layers and how to decide library when you need. And finally, after completing all of this section, I will move to the my live project here I will show you the five live project of WebGIS and I also coding here and you can also learn with me how can you deal with the live project of WebGIS. I hope you enjoy this course WebGIS and web development. So if you have any additional comment you can write in the comment section I will answer this question 
actually this course i will start is to as soon as possible and i will also upload up all of this video as a sequentially first of all i complete this html then i move to the css and and it will be accordingly and sequ uh, sequentially it will be end of the live project and i will after completing all of this i will show you the live project and how you can easily work with webgis okay i hope you enjoy this course okay thank you